Dela Wright, my envious. Welcome. Now, report reaching us is that the Oni of Ife has slammed Pastor Ademijo, saying that he ought to have done his due diligence to find out the kind of woman he says he wants to marry before coming out and trying to use material um, accusation to try and cajole her into loving him. And this happened because uh, we got this information that um, Pastor Ademijo had um, um, given... Uh, Queen Naomi, a Lamborghini, uh, uh, 2024 Lamborghini or 2023 Lamborghini vehicle that he brought to Nigeria that he gifted that vehicle to Olori Naomi and Naomi vehemently rejected it that she has no need for a Lamborghini and besides, where is she going to be driving a Lamborghini to in um, um, a Kure that she doesn't need it, the pastor needs, they need to take it back um, to the pastor. Now, when Oni of Ife heard that, they said he was very, very pleased. And that was when, when he was sitting with his elders, he made mention of the fact that um, um, Pastor Ademiji um, um, has to be very, very to pay to have thought that he will use material acquisition to you, Naomi. Knowing Naomi, Naomi is somebody who loves beautiful things and loves um, beautiful, um, you know, looking beautiful and all of that. But she's not somebody who is carried away by material um, things. Now, um, you know, you and I will agree with that because I want to believe that if Naomi was somebody who was like carried away by material gift, Naomi would not leave. Nami wouldn't have left the palace. That that's what I think. Because when Nami left the palace, of course, the palace happens to be something that is even better. Then it was even better than what it is today. Um, um, the palace had a lot of, you know, you know, um, um, respect and everything just because of Olori Naomi. The, it's the, the 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 affluence and the wealth and the commands and everything is still or was still in the palace even up until now is still there and for a woman who is you know uh, driven by material things Nami if Nami had been a woman who was driven by material things you agree with me that there's no way Nami would have left the palace look at what is going on right now in the palace we've had time and time again that they have asked them to go the ladies in the palace and they are not going and you know I do know that a lot of them have money and basically they might not necessarily be in the palace because of the money but then again because of the um you know, the, the name, the connection, the pedigree, the respect that comes from, you know, royalty. This is a first-class royal house. Um, Oni of Ife is so well-respected across the globe. Um, he is a first-class monarch. Being attached to him is, you know, something that brings people to limelight. You and I agree that some of the lorries who are in the palace right now Nobody knew them. I never knew Toby from anywhere. I've never heard of Olori Miriam. I've never even heard of Olori Ashley. Even though when Nami was in the palace, Ashley was always there. I never took interest in Ashley. I never knew. But today, we sit here, we talk about them. Why? Because they are married to the owner of Ife. And that is proximity. When you get close to somebody that is that big, you know, it rubs up on you. So for a woman who is materialistic by nature, there is no way she would have left the palace. But she left the palace because everything about her is not defined by the material things around her. She needed her sanity. She needed to go, and she had to go. So right now we heard that this man, Pastor Ademiju, gifted her that Lamborghini, and, and she rejected it. And that made the Oni of Ife really, really happy. And the Oni of Ife, they said, was her bragging that he ought to have you know, done due diligence to find out the kind of woman that Pinami is. Now, Pinami is not a woman that is driven by the material accusation. And so, now you said it's so much a um, 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 reason why KBSC would not do without Pinami, why KBSC would continue to love this woman over and over again. Sometimes when people come on social media to talk about Pinami, a lot of people say, ah, they are over embellishing it. Is that, is that? The truth is that Pinami has great 
you know, her values or not. They said she's got very awesome values. People love her so much. Those who are really, really absolutely close to her say that she's not just a gorgeous queen with a, with, a, with a very pretty face. She is somebody who has, you know, the content of her character is very great. And apparently that is why she is loved by the only of you fair, and not just the only of you fair, a lot of people. And so right now, Oni Avife is very, very happy because they said that Queen Naomi has given him the reassurance that if everything goes well with the palace, that she is ready to come back to her matrimony at home. So right now, the ball is in the Oni Avife's court. Whether he is going to um, uh, make it happen or not is up to him. Right now, nobody is going to say anything to Queen Naomi anymore because it's Oni Avife that holds the key. Oni Avife, the African man will say, you hold the yeah and you hold the knife, caught the yama. And so everybody's waiting to see what happens. And the other day I made mention of something that said two months, people might just be thinking two months is two years. Two months is like this. The next two months we want to see something happen. And I cannot wait to, you know, um, chat a new course of this conversation with you. Like, okay, talking about how Naomi is, you know, um, um, uh, what do I say? Talking about, you know, I told the English is hard, right? <laughs> so talking about how Nami is, um, you know, coping in the palace and how uh, things are working out for her, how excited she is being with her husband, seeing her in places all over again and all of that. That is what I want to be reporting in the next two months. And I'm looking so forward to, you know, bringing that G. So let's say because from very, very reliable sources, uh, there is a likelihood that she is. Okay, there is, well, um, she is returning. Yeah, she is returning back to the palace of the Oni of Ife in the next two months. That is what, sorry about that sound. I uh have -huh, my sound system. Uh -huh, so she is returning back to the palace. She's returning back to her husband. And so everybody is saying hallelujah. So Pastor Ademiju, um, um, they said, um, um, may have thought that Pinami is that materialistic. She's got the man is also rich. He's worth ten thousand dollars for a pastor to be worth ten thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. They say he's got a lot of beautiful things. Okay, he is handsome and even younger than the only of Ife. Somebody that any woman would rule over, like want to be with, and all of that. But right now. Um, uh, Queen Naomi maybe still love her husband and um, it's not just about the money it's about what they share uh, Oni of Ife happens to have been her first uh, man in her life it will be very difficult for her to just let go like that maybe that's exactly what is playing out so Pastor Ademiji might just have to rest for now and let's see how you know um, um, uh, God, what God does in the next couple of months so I'm going to bring you more update I appreciate you guys so much Thank